Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Joyful Discoveries. You're in for something special today. We're diving into OpenAI's latest powerhouse, GPT-01. Wait, what? Didn't we just figure out GPT-40 yesterday? And now there's something new to learn? Yup, you heard it right. So what is GPT-01? How does it compare to GPT-40? And how can you start using it in real life? Let's break it down together. So what exactly is GPT-01? GPT-01 is part of the OpenAI-01 series, focused on advanced reasoning. Well, think of GPT-01 as a super brain for complex reasoning and problem solving. It's the newest model from OpenAI, building on models like GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. Here's where it gets cool. GPT-01 doesn't just give quick answers, it thinks through tasks using a chain of thought approach. If it doesn't find a solution, it tries different methods until it gets it right. How does GPT-01 stack up against GPT-40? GPT-40 is great for general tasks like writing, summarizing, or answering questions. GPT-01, on the other hand, shines with complex reasoning tasks, things like tough coding problems, deep scientific research, or intricate legal analysis. It's like having a brainstorming session with a genius. Example, if you're trying to debug a tricky piece of code, GPT-01 will guide you through different potential solutions step by step something GPT-40 might struggle with at that depth. Okay, let's talk about some real ways people are using GPT-01. Here are some awesome use cases. One, complex coding. Developers can use GPT-01 to generate algorithms, debug code, or even optimize an entire software architecture. Imagine you're writing a game and get stuck on a complex AI behavior. GPT-01 can reason through the logic and help you build the perfect solution. Two, scientific research. Researchers can ask GPT-01 to help them with quantum physics calculations or even annotate cell sequencing data. If you're working in fields like quantum computing or biophysics, GPT-01 is like a research assistant with superpowers. 3. Legal document analysis. Lawyers can use GPT-01 to analyze contracts or compare legal documents. For example, when reviewing a complex merger agreement, GPT-01 can highlight the differences between drafts and help you understand potential legal pitfalls. Four, data science. Data scientists can leverage GPT-01 for complex data analysis and model building. If you're designing a machine learning model and need to adjust hyperparameters, GPT-01 can suggest changes based on reasoning and past mistakes it has learned from. Now I'm gonna test GPT-01 right here in front of you. Let's start with a first example. I'll ask GPT-01 to generate a six by six nonogram puzzle where the solution forms the letter Q. After 43 seconds of thought, it comes back with the result. This result demonstrates that O1 preview is great for complex, deep thinking tasks, and its selection is appropriate when the goal is to solve intricate problems that require advanced reasoning. Let's ask some famous chicken egg reasoning question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? This explanation is both logical and easy to understand, demonstrating GPT-01's ability to simplify complex evolutionary ideas into clear, concise steps. The chain of thought reasoning here is well executed in only five seconds, making the response efficient as well. When I ask, if a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? This philosophical riddle touches on questions of perception, reality, and observation a great way to test GPT-01's reasoning and approach to abstract problems. This response showcases GPT-01's strength in reasoning through both empirical facts and abstract concepts, making it a great tool for questions that straddle the line between science and philosophy. This time, I asked O1 Preview to write a snake game in Python. It processed the request in just nine seconds. Maybe it was too easy. It gives some instruction of how to run it. I ran the game and it worked flawlessly. As a software developer, I have to admit, I'm a little worried. If GPT-01 can write this game in nine seconds, will I still have a job next year? In summary, GPT-01 is slower, but deeper. The O1 preview model processes inputs more slowly, but provides deeper, well-reasoned responses. This makes it ideal for complex tasks requiring multi-step logic, such as advanced coding, complex mathematical problem solving, or creative output generation. Target users, O1 Preview is ideal for users needing precise reasoning, like developers and researchers in technical fields. 
However, it lacks broader features like multimedia inputs and faster response times found in models like GPT-40. Basically, GPT-01 is like having a personal genius who can tackle the hardest tasks you throw at it. Let's keep it real. No AI is perfect. Here are the pros and cons of GPT-01. Pros, superior at complex tasks, perfect for coding, tough math, and reasoning-based jobs. Learning from mistakes, it gets smarter with each task thanks to reinforcement learning. Better safety features. Enhanced safeguards help keep it aligned with human values. Cons, not great for everyday tasks. GPT-01 might struggle with simple or general tasks compared to GPT-40. Can be slower. Because it thinks deeply, responses might take a bit longer. Still in early stages, as a new model, it may still have some growing pains. So to sum it up, GPT-01 is your go-to for complex, high-level reasoning tasks, while GPT-40 is better for general knowledge and quicker responses. Which one fits your needs? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more AI updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.